Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be doing a review of two different groundwork uh, carts. One is the 1400 pound capacity heavy duty steel utility cart on the left and we've got the 1400 pound capacity poly dump cart on the right. Before we get started, I want to state that I'm not sponsored by anybody. I purchased these carts with my own money. Also, I've owned the steel utility cart on the left for about two and a half years while I've owned the poly dump cart for just four months. Although I don't own any other utility or dump carts, I have seen pictures of the Gorilla Carts 1400 pound capacity steel utility cart and it appears to be the exact same cart down to the bed measurements, tire size, and convertible handle. Uh, I think there's a little bit of yellow paint um, that kind of differentiates it from the groundwork cart, but other than that it looks to be the exact same cart. If you try to buy the Groundwork Steel Utility Cart now, you will find that it does come with larger 16 inch tires and the same handle design that is currently found on my Poly Dump Cart, which I will show in more detail shortly. Here's a quick walk around of the Steel Utility Cart. The sides are removable, so if you've got something that won't fit in um, within the walls of the cart, you can take those off and just lay it flat on the cart. It's still transported, so that's kind of nice. Right here you can get a view of the undercarriage and how the wheels are attached to the frame. Rather than having a straight axle that extends from wheel to wheel, the wheels are attached to the ends of a U-shaped bracket that gives you about 13 to 14 inches of vertical clearance between the wheels of the cart. Over here we have a close-up view of the convertible handle. While it's convenient to have the ability to rotate the handle and expose the clevis to attach to your riding mower or ATV, I found this handle to be of too thin a gauge of metal and the clevis portion broke during one of my recent firewood gathering trips. This handle is a convertible handle so right now it's set up so that you can pull it by hand and there's two of these hitch pins that come with the cart. Um, put the hitch pin in and you've got these R clips that will attach it secure so they don't fall out. Um, but usually there's one here and then one up here. I actually lost one of these so I had to pick up a couple extra hitch pins but I got the ones with the little things that clip on like that so that you can't lose the two pieces. Um, but anyway if you want to convert it you just switch this around. You would have this hitch pin here and this is going to secure the handle so that it doesn't move around, okay? Now if you get that garden cart um, nowadays, you're gonna get a handle that looks more like this. It's a plastic handle with just a single hitch pin, okay? And when you remove it, this drops out of the way, and then you can attach this piece to your mower and use the R clip to keep it secure. I'm not sure how durable this plastic handle is. I mean, it feels pretty tough, but again, I've had this thing for about maybe two months now, month and a half, and so I haven't really run it through its paces. Uh, the one thing I will say is that when you remove, or kind of move that out of the way, this plastic handle is just kind of sitting down there. So, I mean, obviously you can take it off completely, but if you ever want to change it later on, you know, it's you got to make sure you don't misplace it or something. But this part of the handle here, which connects to your mower, is a very heavy duty uh, steel component. And so that's very tough. I wouldn't worry about this thing breaking or twisting or anything like that. Very rigid. Um, so that's really well built. Let's contrast that to the handle on the steel utility cart. This here bend it's maybe half the thickness of the other one. Another nice thing about this card here is that if you have something that extends beyond the 50 inches of capacity with the gates on you can actually remove the rear gate. And if you had something wider than the 30 inches, you could actually just remove both the sides as well.
Okay, so I've just removed all the side panels and now I'll demonstrate how easy it is to get those back on. Looking at the front bra uh, bracket, and this is the one that actually turns. And we've got this little plastic uh, brace here that'll lock the handle. Uh, I will say that both of these cards have a very good. A tight turning radius. So if you need to turn around in a small space, these wheels the poly dump cart is considerably lighter than the steel utility cart, so you can tell just by the sound of me moving it around. Uh, it's it's very light, easy to maneuver. If you want to dump the cart, there's a clip in here. It allows you to dump it. And you can actually go past one about 90 degrees by doing that. I have to say the poly dump cart is a pleasure to use around the property because it is so light and smaller than the steel cart. Of course, when you have it loaded with rock, dirt, or gravel, it is helpful to have a mower or an uh, ATV to pull it. But I would say that this cart perfectly fills the void between our wheelbarrow and the larger and heavier steel utility cart.
I always thought that the thin gauge metal used for the clevis would be an issue at some point. Even before I had lost the clevis pin that came with the garden cart, the clevis had been bent multiple times, but it finally broke. Now here's the deal with the handle. If you try to find a replacement handle through groundwork, you can't. Or at least I tried and I couldn't. But remember how I said that the Gorilla Cart looked exactly like the groundwork cart? Well, they make one, and it costs about $30 now, but when I first found it on Amazon, it was listed for almost $80. No joke. And even if it was $30, I don't like the idea of having to replace it with something that is likely to break in a couple years. So of course, I don't play that silly game. So I just went to Harbor Freight and I bought a stick welder because there are useful things to have. The other thing is that the convertible handle is attached to the extension tube via a pin that you cannot easily remove with most homeowner tools. I had to use an angle grinder to remove the pin, so it's not exactly a super easy replacement unless you have the right tools for the job. As I was taking the handle off to fix it, I noticed that where the handle extension tube attaches to the cart, the thin gauge metal and insufficient welds had broken. Note that my experience is solely with the groundwork cart. It's possible that the metal gauge and welds are better on the Gorilla cart, but based on the images, they appear to be the same. I consider this cart to be a work tool, and I'm not easy on it, so things are bound to break. Your mileage may vary. I'm just trying to show you where I've had issues with the cart. I've been happy with my purchase overall. I just think that the product engineers could have reinforced a couple of things on the cart which appear to be obvious weak points.